it's difficult to overstate just how much generative AI and large language models are changing how we build software capabilities. So, you know, if you ask um, colleagues around the industry, you know, like, why is this big bet on AI, right? And it kind of always came back to be the same answer, which is because we can't afford to be wrong. Well, I think most of us know, but AI is already a competitive advantage. Not adopting it is going to put teams and products and companies behind. How profound will this be? I think it might be as profound as the internet and electricity. And of course, how will your organization, how will your teams leverage it? How will you get ahead of this curve? Because what we've seen every time we go through these te technological revolutions is some organizations get very fast at wielding all this new power, whereas other organizations slow down and languish and then actually get disrupted and, and decline. Are you ready to embark on a journey into the frontiers of generative AI? <laughs> Let's go. What can be learned from our experience using generative AI in a very small scale, in a small startup, right? Obviously not with the same challenges we can deal with at a large enterprise. But these challenges, at, at this moment in time, will scale. But if you're a security or technical leader, I would recommend some key areas to pay attention to. How's your workforce using this? Where can it make massive productivity gains? Very key, you know, you're operationalizing AI, right? Not building AI. And this is going to be a current idea that you know people want to fall into the oh let's train a model right. At that point, I'd say just stop the meeting right because <laughs> it's that's uh, it's ridiculous uh, the amount of effort and cost into that. Fine tuning a model right seems exciting right. Be very very skeptical right. Get people focusing on prompt engineering, chaining APIs. That's where you prove it, and you'd be amazed at what you can get um, out of this stuff. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go out like Gene and I have been doing and reading the latest and greatest papers that come out, but if you have an AI project, somebody in your team needs to be doing this because these things are moving very, very, very fast. This is just crazy how we live right now. This is my life, 200 lines of code, half English. I don't know what's gonna happen, and I'm just looking for help. Basically, if you're on this journey, beginning, starting, advanced, I love to hear from you. That's my ask for help, and thank you for listening to me.